So here we are, an updated strategy, recognising the increased importance of the environment and the revolution facing us in aviation. To that end, I would encourage you to come forward with your ideas so that we can work with you to understand if we could invest further in new aspirations and new opportunities for the UK. And we won't make it on our own, but we'll continue relying on the collaboration with all of you and on the enabling support of ATI to constantly demand more of ourselves and ultimately make the impossible possible. Aviation connects the world. We mustn't give up on aviation. And flying is great for uh, the people of the world. Despite the immensity of this challenge, there is no shortage of ambition. The UK exists in a highly competitive world. We need to run faster to keep pace to stay ahead of the competition. We need to innovate faster. I believe the challenges are so huge that no one country uh, can, can manage it alone. We need to put the aviation industry at the heart of the sustainability uh, agenda. We need to challenge ourselves to think really big, really long term and really disruptively about our future and then to challenge our businesses, institutions and governments to do the same. We need to look beyond the sector's boundaries and seek out disruption. How can the manufacturing community empower the design of these future architectures? We are looking at not just the technology, because we think the technology is not the toughest part of this story, but some of the toughest challenges are around public acceptance, regulation and business models. How do you upskill people so that they can grasp the opportunities of this AI and digital world? We should be brave here. You know, we should, we should absolutely be looking to aviation to help with big societal issues. I think the challenge is bigger than ever and I wish you every success as you address that in the years to come.